Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure video review. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Um, now this time we've got the T Toys R Us exclusive Captain Phasma. Quicksilver Baton from The Last Jedi. You know, of course there's no more Toys R Us's in the US and Australia and the UK. Um, but they're still going strong in Canada, so if you're in Canada, you can definitely still pick this up. This one came to me from the from Hong Kong, which I believe they've probably got Toys R Us's over there still, which is cool. Um, so they're, they're, they're still around, but it still come with the sticker. Again, being an exclusive. Right up on the back. And you know, there's the, there's the Hong Kong language sort of um, translation stickers that are on it. Same on the front there. But yeah, same same as any other box. Now, for the most part, this figure is the same as the regular Captain Phasma that came out uh, in around about October, November of 2015 before The Force Awakens come out. Um, I, I remember that because it was actually my birthday when I got it and that was early November. So yeah, it was just sort of starting to come out at that stage. But uh, yeah, so for the most part, it's the same body um, obviously the new elements being the head, the cape, the quicksilver baton, the shortened version of it, shortened version of it, and it just comes with the same blaster. Um, I actually got this figure the same time as I got the uh, SH Figure Arts version, and uh, yeah, despite that thing lacking in height, I really like it. Um, this this was an upgrade I didn't think we'd need. Um, but I'm absolutely thankful for it because they've done a really sweet job, especially with that head sculpt. For that alone, it's worth it. And the soft goods um, cape, which replaces the plastic one from the standard Phasma release. Um, my only wish is that they'd sort of continue that damage in the mold down along the chest armor there, but. You'd absolutely do that yourself if you wanted to. Um, I'm probably not going to bother with it, but you know, just to follow that on that sort of hit where Finn gives her a good old whack, it would have been cool just to continue that sort of that physical damage as opposed to just the uh, colouring they've used to paint paint over that, which which looks okay. But we'll get a good close up of of this face. You can really see that nice bright blue eye that we get a look at in the movie. So yeah, you can't tell from that side. You turn it around, boom. You can sort of see just under the helmet where they've sort of they've created the head sculpt underneath, and then they've sort of made a helmet that sort of slots over the top and glues into place. So there's two separate elements. They haven't just put paint on the inside of the of the hole. They've painted one first, then put the helmet on. Which is really nicely done. Articulation's pretty much the same as most figures. Um, it's got the ball jointed head, shoulders, elbows, wrists. I've got that sort of double hinge, that sort of upper torso joint in there, uh, hips, thighs double joints in the knees and ankles and blue tack which is my addition but it still looks nice it's a nice figure um, yeah I'm, I'm really happy to have it but uh, yeah let's have a look at these accessories so we get a blaster which is the same again it's sort of almost like a goldy champagne look as opposed to silver but it looks pretty good Got her sort of short and quicksilver baton. Let's sort of see the little marks in there. I don't know whether they're the whether they're the buttons. I'm not sure. And then we get the longer version. So it's a little bit, a little bit bowed from just from the packaging. But unfortunately, the problem with this figure is um, she doesn't hold it all that well. You can just slide it straight through her hand, and that's on both end, both both hands as well. Um, yeah, so you've got to have her holding it with both hands, whereas 
my SH figure arts one I've got her sort of holding it holding it back with one arm behind her and sort of doing that sort of thing which oh, I suppose if you get a balance maybe use a bit of sticky tack in her hand you can do it you probably even balance it right works okay but yeah it needs a little a bit of assistance unfortunately but that's okay you good at holding it like that it looks good Yeah, like I said, it's it's an update that sort of surprised most, but I'm I'm impressed with it. I'm really happy that they've gone and given it our update, and uh, I mean we'll see if she comes back again. Who knows? Thought she might have been uh, done and dusted after the Force Awakens, and then she shows up again. So we'll see. I think she I think she's probably done, but uh, yeah, time will tell. Just based solely on the uh, cast list, it didn't include Gwendolyn and Christie, so I have my doubts based on that, but you never know. JJ usually keeps a few little secret secret hands, so we'll, we will see in time. Thank you for checking this out, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.